Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's special event, introducing Alibaba Group's cross-border B2C platform, Timon Global. My name is Ala Dragola, and I am the Director of Parliamentary Affairs and SME Policy here at the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. We are very excited to be partnering with the Alibaba Group for today's webinar. And joining me here from Alibaba for today's discussion, we have Nicole Lin, who's a Business Development Country Manager for Canada, and Shan Chan Tang, who is the Strategic Partnerships and Integrated Marketing Lead for Canada. Nicole and Shan Chan will be leading today's presentation and discussion on Alibaba's cross-border B2C platform, Tomorrow Global. Now, I would like to turn it over to Shan Chan to kick us off. Okay, thank you, Al. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for spending the time here with us and participating in this webinar. We feel truly honored to have all of you here with us, especially thanks to our partner, Canada Chamber of Commerce, and also thanks to Ryan, Ella, Kim, and the team behind the scene putting everything together. We truly appreciate it. And before I start, I think I'm going to do a quick intro first for myself. So I joined Alibaba in 2016. And I work in the headquarter at Hangzhou, China for two years and transferred to Vancouver, Canada. And now I cover Alibaba Global Business in Canada, responsible for the strategic partnership and integrated marketing in Canada. And the topic today I will cover is the overseas business strategy and quick induction of Alibaba and how Alibaba can contribute to local business in Canada. And also uh, following the presentation from my colleague Nicole, we'll get into details on how our e-commerce business work are here to help the local SMEs in Canada. So, and about Alibaba Group. So Alibaba is established by its 18 founders led by Jack Ma, working out of Jack Ma's apartment in Hangzhou. Its first website is English language Alibaba.com, a global wholesale marketplace. So Alibaba.com was the first business created to help the wholesalers to um, sell to buyers around the world. Like, to understand Alibaba, you really have to go back to the very beginning. It was 1999 in Hangzhou, China, Jack Ma's hometown. Hangzhou that time was really a hotbed for manufacturing, mostly small manufacturers. But a lot was the pre-internet, so there's no way for them to connect to the customers. Many of them would be customers who were in the US, in Canada, in Europe. And Jack really discovered the internet during a trip to Seattle. So our mission from 20 years ago was to make it to do easy, uh, make it easy to do business anywhere. This still holds true to our business today. While our platform, as you can see on this slide, have evolved from our very first business unit, Alibaba.com, to a digital economy that covers e-commerce, logistics, payment, entertainment. We stay true to our values, and we are enabling for business of all size to success in Chinese market and also globally. And um, so with that being said, I'm going to lead to our next topic, globalization. It's really an integrated part of Alibaba economy. So we have five strategies, uh, global pay, global sell, global fund, global buy, and global delivery. It's very straightforward from those five words. And then um, with globalization, and our goal is to kind of make 10 million SMEs profitable and to reach out to 2 billion consumers on the platform and to create 100 million jobs. And then uh, before I get into the business in Canada, I would like to do a side-to-side -side comparison for and um, how we are doing a fully integrated marketing program in Alibaba ecosystem. So in the West, we're doing all the branding, tell branding stories through YouTube and Facebook. And also we're doing promotions through Twitter and Google and Facebook ads. And we're doing sales through different channels like Expedia, eBay, and Amazon based on your services, either it's travel or you eat like uh, um, physical goods through e-commerce, B2C or C2C. And in Alibaba, really all you need is to an Alibaba ecosystem. We help to build an integrated marketing system and you do branding through our Yuku. Yuku is equivalent to YouTube in China. And we have also different branding channels in Kimo and Weibo is equivalent to Twitter in Canada here. And we're doing promotions within our Alipay marketing platform. We have a platform online and building within the Alipay app. And also our Fliki. Fliki is our online travel platforms for um, tourist tourism sectors. 
And we're also doing promotions through our marketplaces, um, Tmall and Taobao. And you're doing sales through our um, four different platforms like Fliggy, um, through Alipay, and also through our B B2C and C2C marketplace, and Tmall and Taobao. So with that being said, uh, that leads to the next topic is the core business in Canada. So, and I'm gonna just do a quick introduction and um, what we're doing here in Canada. So we're really, uh, for the e-commerce part, we're really here to support Canadian brands for their China expansion according to different stage of the um, Canadian brand readiness. And also we help you here to work with appropriate platforms to utilize resources available for you. And Nicole will touch very in detail for Timo Global in her presentation. And uh, so Alipay online and offline payment we're providing. So we're here, Alipay here is to help Canadian brands and merchants to sell products and services to Chinese by involving Alipay online and offline. So the merchants, you really can leverage Alipay platform resources to increase awareness and discoverability and also to make the best offers to users. Alipay marketing platform, we're able to drive offline traffic to uh, online traffic to offline and creating a closed loop scenario for your business. And um, they have, we have different uh, marketing mechanisms such as loyalty rewards program and also ongoing campaigns with different merchants. And then um, on the side note, right, Alipay is really an Asian's leader digital, digital wallet platform with over 1.3 billion users globally. Recently, Alipay partnered with Shopify to help SMEs to unlock the power of cross-border e-commerce for Shopify merchants. So the new gateway will allow like Shopify merchants to kind of like accept payment through Alipay for more than 900 million and new active users in China alone, and plus 100 million from um, across the uh, Asia countries. And for the cross-border tourism, uh, mainly provided by Alipay and Fliki, and our travel online travel platform, a help Canadian offline merchant to sell products and services to Chinese tourists by providing offline spot payment by Alipay and listing their products through Fliki. And we also leverage Alipay platform to target specific uh, and potential tourists. And also able those online campaigns we run with like Destination Canada and Tourism Vancouver, Northwest Territory, those one drive traffic to um, those destinations. And we're running destination campaigns through our online platforms together. And in terms of logistics, we're trying to build a logistic network to and um, in Canada to meet our business demands. So now we're kind of looking at warehouses in Vancouver because now we see a growing demands and um, consumer demands from China for Canadian products. And this one just elaborate and um, our partnership with Shopify. With that being said, um, as this my, uh, that ends my presentation, I just want to let you know, and uh, if you have any questions regarding business and um, either Timo Global or besides Timo Global in Canada, please email me at my email here, um, shanshan at ts at alibabainc.com. And also um, you can download DingTalk, our enterprise and um, chatting tools, connect with us. Um, with, uh, thank you, I will pass it to my colleague, Nicole, Thank you, Shan Shan. Let me quickly share my screen as well. So hello everyone, um, my name is Nicole. I'm the business development country manager um, for Timo Gova and Kaola, which are uh, the cross-border B2C side of the business under Alibaba. And today my presentations will be about the introduction um, to Timo Global, which is the leading cross-border B2C e-commerce platform in China. And we have business development team all around the world helping uh, brands and merchants selling to China through cross-border. So first I will talk, uh, I will also share with you a little bit about um, the retail in China and um, talk about the core commerce structure under Alibaba and where Timo Global stands um, within the structure. And, and then um, talk a little bit about what cross-border means especially to you um, as a Canadian brands and merchants. And then wrap up by sharing with you how you can get on board with us by sharing two of the recommended business solutions available right now. So um, 
China, by a lot of um, consultancy reports, is expected to become the largest retail markets in the world by end of the year or next year. But it's already the top global e-commerce market with over 2.8 trillion annual e-commerce sales in Canadian dollars. And it's largely thanks to the you know, overwhelming large um, internet populations, which is over 980 um, million at the moment. And among the internet user, uh, more than 66% of them are under the age of 39, and 99% of them are also mobile users. So in China, and also from Timo Global, the data we see more than 90% of our sales come from mobile app rather than from desktop PC. So in China, people really live and breathe on their mobile phone. And according to our last quarter uh, quarterly report, Alibaba, uh, our monthly active users in the month of December has gone over 900 million. So in China, uh, most of the internet users, they will utilize services under Alibaba in their daily lives. And in terms of e-commerce uh, retail mix in China, right now it's well over 50%, especially with the push of the COVID-19 pandemic since last year. And you know, with all those, you know, astonishing numbers, we are still seeing big room for growth because right now um, the, the populations of middle class in China is around close to 40, uh, 400 million. And it the populations of middle class is expected to, be, um, to grow uh, over 600 million in the next three to five years. So there will be more people becoming middle class and be able to spend more online and offline. And next, I want to talk about um, the core commerce structure under Alibaba um, Group. Um, as Sunshine just mentioned that now, so this core commerce um, structure is uh, really the uh, marketplace uh, business pillar um, under Alibaba Group. And within this core commerce, um, there are many um, um, online and offline retail channels and platforms. And we basically categorize those platforms and channel into two uh, pillars. First one is retail commerce, which is the 2C business. And we have also wholesale commerce, which is 2B business. And um, the, within the 2C business, we have uh, also you know, subcategories um, with platforms serving um, the local Chinese market to the local or general trading. And we also have um, cross-border and um, global uh, platforms serving um, also Chinese market, but through the cross-border method or international markets. For example, we have Lazada focusing on serving um, the Southeast Asian region um, and customers. And today, my presentation again will be about Timo Global, which is the cross-border uh, B2C platform within the structure. So you might have heard of cross-border e-commerce, but what does it really mean to you as a Canadian brands and merchants? So here I've, um, you know, I listed out some of the, you know, the, the different facets between Timo Classic and Timo Global. So Timo Global um, is the cross-border B2C platform serving um, the Chinese customer, helping brands and merchants selling to China through cross-border. And we also have Timo Classic, um, a sister platform. So they, it's, it's a platform focusing on um, selling any brands, local Chinese brands or international brands through general trading, the, you know, the traditional general trading. So the firstly, the fundamental difference between the two flat the two platforms is the import model. So as I mentioned, Timo Classic does business through general trading and Timo Global does things uh, through cross-border. And what that means is um, through general trading under uh, Timo Classic, you will need to have a Chinese business entity in order to, uh, to be able to launch on Timo Classic. But through uh, cross-border on Timo Global side, you can launch with us with your Canadian business entity. You don't need to be registered in China uh, in China, um, you know, as a company, to be able to launch on Timo Global because we under uh, we operate business under cross border. And in terms of trademark, it's the same thing. Uh, with general trade, you will need to have your brand uh, registered in China uh, with proper trademark before you can launch on Timo Classic. But with Timo Global, you, you can launch with us with your Canadian trademark. Um, however, um, by saying you know by saying that it doesn't mean that it's not important for you to register your brand trademark in China, even if it's not a prerequisite for us, um, you know, um, for you to launch on Timo Global, it's still highly suggested that you you know register your brand trademark in China as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, you know, once you launch into China and people start to you know notice your brand, you know, you never know you know 
if the trademark squatter will, um, you know, just come and take, um, you know, register before you. So it's highly suggested that even though China uh, trademark is not a, a prerequisite for Timo Global, it's highly suggested that you uh, register for, um, you know, your brand trademark in China as soon as possible. And in terms of payment, um, also through um, on the Timo Classic side, every all the payments will be dealt uh, in local currency, um, in Chinese um, yen, and also payment will be um, you know paid through local banks in China. Um, on Timo Global through cross border, you can utilize your bank account in Canada or anywhere else outside of China. And um, all the payment will also be made to you in your chosen currency, can be Canadian dollars or US dollars. And um, in terms of logistic and warehouse, Timo Classic, again, um, everything will be distributed within China, um, logistically, storage wise, everything. Uh, versus Timo Global, we also um, operate, um, you know, we also mainly deal with our stocks um, in China, but in the free trade zone, in the bonded warehouse. And there's also options for you to utilize overseas warehouses to operate on Timo Global. And lastly, also a very, very important one, which is product registration in China. So through general trading, all of the products need to you know, follow all the local regulations, um, health and food products, especially if CFDA, you need to make sure that, you know, you absolutely follow all the local regulation and beauty products right now still need animal testing and all. However, through cross-border e-commerce on Timo Global, you won't have to have your product registered in China. You just need to make sure that your product is on the positive list um, of cross-border e-commerce, which right now covers most of the product, product categories, including beauty, fashion, health, and food, um, you know, including dietary um, supplements. You know, I see people ask about this. And um, also maternity and baby products, pet, personal care, home and household electronics. So basically all of the consumer goods right now is covered um, you know, on this positive list of cross-border e-commerce in China. And um, so now you have a better idea of what cross-border is. You probably you know, under, you know, have a feeling that, okay, cross-border is really a much easier way to get into China, right? Um, you know, much easier than through going through the general trade. Um, and next I want to, you know, go into the introductions of Timo Global and how uh, we can help you to, um, you know, come on board with us and sell to China through cross-border. But before that, I want to share with you, um, you know, the biggest shopping festival that we host every year on November 11th, which is called Double Eleven uh, Shopping Festival. Um, so it's, it's the biggest shopping festival that we host every year um, and we break single um, shopping festival sales campaign, uh, sales campaign records uh, in the world every year. And last year we also, uh, we had a very successful campaign. Uh, the total sales combined is over 98 billion in Canadian dollars within 11 days of the campaign. And there were over 800 million uh, customers placing orders. Uh, also, uh, we saw a very encouraging uh, growth in terms of total uh, imports from Canada. And um, the total import from Canada within Alibaba Group was 50% up uh, versus last year. And Timo Global, we outperformed our sister uh, platforms. We, we had a 60% growth um, versus last year in terms of imports from Canada. And here I've listed uh, some of the existing Canadian merchants on Timo Global right now. So as you can see, you know, we have most of the major key players um, in the key categories with us. And so also very, you know, much appreciate you know all of our existing Canadian merchants to help us and, and for, uh, for us to drive sales and, and um, drive a successful campaigns together. And hopefully we will be able to see um, you know more and more Canadian merchants uh, such as yourselves coming on board with us soon. And next, I want to um, share with you a video of, of experience sharing by a Canadian brand called Viva Naturals, um, so that you have a better sense of idea of what um, you know Canadian merchants um, experience on our platform. Viva Naturals' mission is to make wellness accessible to all. So in everything we do, whether it's in our formulation of our products, how we deal with our customers on the phone, how we lay out our office, our mission and our values is incorporated in everything we do. 
we work with local farmers, with local growers and processors all around the world to produce higher quality products than what you'll see in the retail stores. And by being direct to consumer, we don't have the retailer markups. China is the most important market for Viva Naturals. Everything from supplements to organic superfoods, all these products are doing well in China because they're good for your health. And that's what Chinese consumers are looking for. Double Eleven is similar to how we've got our Black Friday or even Amazon Prime Day, except the scale and the magnitude just dwarfs anything that happens here in North America. Last year was the first time we participated. Within the first few hours, we sold out of many of our popular products. We had two months worth of sales on that single day. And after Double Eleven, our sales doubled. It really sets you up for that next year because these customers saw a great deal, tried our brand, and then once they managed to experience the product, they started purchasing again and again and again. And not only the same product, but other products within the brand. This Double Eleven, we started our planning process in June. We're working with our growers to source more raw materials, building up supply to ship over to China for all these products to go out on Double Eleven. We're expecting this year for our sales to be at least triple what it was last year. Amazon doesn't have all the marketing opportunities and merchandising opportunities in the entire ecosystem that Alibaba has. We've had a pre-sale going on whereby a customer puts a deposit on a product and then they're charged on Double Eleven. Alibaba is also conducting some live streams showcasing our products. A host or celebrity walks their audience through your products. When you see a product in those videos, you're able to just go to Tmall Global, check out the product, all within the Alibaba ecosystem. A successful Double Eleven allows us to reinvest in the business, to learn from our customers in China what they love, what they're looking for. There's a phrase in Chinese, Jing Shi, that means a good surprise. And that's really what China has been for us. From the reception of the consumers there in China who are loving our brand and purchasing our product for themselves and their families. So next, um, I will start to talk about um, the some of uh, two of the recommended business solutions uh, for Canadian brands and partners um, to come on board with us. And um, first, let me share with you another short video. Um, it will um, it has uh, it will provide a simple introduction to Timo Global and our business solutions. Tmall Global, China's cross-border B2C online marketplace, brings together 29,000 brands from 87 countries and regions with products from 5,800 categories and serves over 800 million Chinese consumers. Our mission is to provide a high-quality lifestyle without borders to all Chinese consumers. We enable international brands to fast-track their brand's entry into the China market. There are two ways to partner with Tmall Global. You can either become a Tmall Global supplier to sell branded products, or open a flagship store on the platform to launch your brand. To operate your flagship store on Tmall Global, you can either set up your own in-house team or choose to work with an expert e-commerce service provider who can assist in the planning and execution of tasks such as store maintenance, customer service, digital marketing, and data analytics. Once your products are listed online, consumers can begin to shop and place their orders. Alipay, Alibaba's mobile payment tool, will ensure a seamless transaction from a customer's purchase to your local currency. Products can be shipped from China-based bonded warehouses or overseas logistics centers or mailed directly to the consumer. Sign me out. Alibaba's logistics solution has a transparent start-to-end tracking system to ensure that products received by the consumer are authentic. Tmall Global also offers consumers analytics and digital marketing tools to help businesses achieve faster market penetration, gain industry insights, and build a loyal customer base. In 2020, Tmall Global is anticipating faster growth as retaliatory spending behavior among Chinese consumers is on the rise. Household budgets originally allocated to travel and related expenses are now expected to be spent online. Find out more on our website at merchant.tmall.hk. If you are interested in working with Tmall Global, submit your request online and our business development consultants will be in touch to advise you on the next step. As the leading e-commerce platform in China for imported products, Tmall Global is committed to bringing quality lifestyles without borders and transforming the shopping experiences of our customers. Join us now to take part in China's online retail revolution.
So as mentioned in the video, there are basically two ways you could come on board with us. The first one is to launch a store with us. So it's called a Tmall Global, the TMG model. And uh, it's usually referred as the ultimate solutions for brands to build a long-term success with, uh, because it's the only model that will allow 100% authority for you to decide how you want to sell your products and how to tell your brand story. And it's also the only model that will allow you ownership to your store data and your customer data so that you know it will help you to um, optimize your performance and brand um, build, uh, brand building and to start build, building that long-term success with. And also um, the TMG model, um, you know, flash, brand flagship store usually have, you know, holds the highest customer trust because customers in China, especially when purchasing import products, they always want to purchase from, you know, a source that's closest to the brand owner. And usually that would mean a flag brand flagship store. And so that's usually, um, you know, the, 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 the place people go to, to purchase uh, imported products. And with that, we think, um, you know, this model would be a perfect um, model for you to launch your brand um, to China with. And the second model is um, team overseas fulfillment, which is um, basically a supplier model. So you come on board um, with us to become a supplier of this team overseas fulfillment store um, that we run ourselves on Timo Global. So it's a it's a really big store that Timo Global um, manages and run on our own on our platform. And um, so we invite um, you know potential brands and partners to become suppliers for this store. This is basically how how it is. And this model it runs um, on consignment model and also it allows flex very high flexibility in terms of logistic and warehouse. Uh, um, stock storage because we utilize these warehouses outside of China. So in North America right now, we currently don't have warehouse for this model uh, in Canada yet. Um, but we do have um, you know, warehouses in the US, um, one in uh, LA at the East Coast and, um, and one in New Jersey, um, um, West Coast and East Coast in New Jersey. And soon in the second half of this year, we are expecting to um, you know, open a warehouse in Canada as well. So um, if you are interested in this model and you don't have stock, already uh, stock in the US, um, you can always keep, um, you know, get in touch with us and we will keep you updated about the progress of our warehouse in Canada. But meanwhile, you can, you know, if you have stock in the US, you can always utilize the warehouse in the US for this model. So um, it's a very simple model. You just need to ship your products into one of the warehouses and under consignment. And after that, our TOF team will take care of the sales maintenance um, and also um, you know, the logistic uh, from the uh, warehouse here in North America to the customer in China and take care of the uh, shipping and tax um, expenses as well. And also this model will be a perfect model for um, E2C um, retailers online or offline, as long as you have the capacity to, um, you know, to do API integration with us. So it's, it's a perfect model for um, fashion retailers or fashion brands with, you know, very large amounts of product assortments. And through this API integrations, we can easily, you know, list thousands of your products um, on our you know, on, in our store, TOF store, um, you know, overnight. And also we can utilize your own stock in your warehouse through, um, and sell, um, you know, help you to sell to China through dropship, um, you know, method. So it's a very easy um, uh, economical model compared to, um, you know, Timo Global, which is to, it's a big commitment to launch your store. Um, so usually we will see this as a, you know, a great model for you to test the water um, you know, of the China market first, or you can utilize this model to sell branded products um, because branded products usually they don't really need you know, branding or marketing. They just need to you know, set it at a really good price and uh, be able to um, you know, have, you know, and, and find a, a, a proper channel to, to um, you know, get the volume going. So, uh, TOF model will be perfect for uh, branded products or for, um, you know, Canadian brands and merchants to test the water with before you, uh, you, you can decide whether you want to be committed into launching your own store or not. So um, next, I want to talk into the uh, talk about details of uh, each of the model. First, um, the TMG, the the um, launch your store in a flagship store model. So um, to launch your flagship store, um, on our platform, it's really a, about partnership with um, different stakeholders. So first we have you as a brand owner or a retailer, um, you know, you, you will need to 
be uh, the leader of the project. You lead and monitor the whole progress. And you, you are also the one to set strategy uh, to secure marketing budget and also work with um, you know, all the stakeholders. And the second very important uh, you know, piece of the puzzle is a third party trade partner, because as mentioned in the video, um, you, know, you can also choose to you know, do it in-house in you know, with your own team, but it's very, you know, rarely do we see, you know, Canadian brands and merchants have their own in-house team that's capable of, you know, that's that Chinese speaking or understand the China market well enough to really do this on their own. So most of the brands will need to re rely on a third party trade partner to do this project. Um, so a TP a trade partner or called TP, usually they will provide, um, you know, services such as store maintenance, customer service, digital marketing, data analytics, and logistic coordination. So basically they will run um, you know, launch, set up, and run the store on your behalf and execute pretty much everything for you on your behalf based on your strategy. Um, and for, um, you know, you can, you know, bring your own TP or if you don't have such a resource, we can also help you to find um, suitable uh, team of partners. And beside a brand owner and a TP from our side, um, there's also our Team of Global team supporting all the necessary inter, um, IT payment infrastructure. We also, um, you know, provide access to store data, analytical tools, and also uh, support on digital marketing, uh, pay marketing solutions, and also, um, you know, Tiny Logistic, which is the, the company under Alibaba Group handling, you know, all of the logistic uh, business. Um, under um, Alibaba Group, it will also prov um, provide services to help you and your TP to facilitate all the necessary cross-border logistic, um, you know, in, uh, tools and, and, and infrastructure, and also provide you with logistic data and, and local tools for you and your partners to optimize your, you know, forecasting and also, um, you know, uh, stock uh, efficiency. And next, I want to share with you, um, you know, the, the, the basic cost of launching a, a flagship store. So basically, there are five fixed costs. Um, the first being uh, the security deposit. So it's a one-time deposit that you will need to put in to your Alipay Global account um, as a deposit. Um, and the fee is ranges from 50K to 300K RMB. Um, it's mostly 50K, um, with exceptions of, um, you know, uh, very... Um, uh, niche categories such as bird nest and you know um, things infant, baby infant formula that you know categories that require higher higher um, you know um, monitoring and restriction that will um, you know bring up the security deposit. But for most of the categories, the security deposit will be 50k, which is about 10k Canadian dollars. Um, and the second is the annual fee. Uh, so this is an annual technical service fee that we charge. Um, also. Um, fee varies from 30 to 60k RMB. So it's about five to 10,000 Canadian dollars per year based on the category that you launch in. And number three is um, annual technical service commission. So it's um, again, it varies from 0.5 to 5%, depending on the category you launch in. And on top of that, Alipay will take another 1% of service fee. So the first three um, costs, you know, completes the completes the, uh, you know, the charge, the rates and charges from uh, Alibaba Group. Rest of the cost, they're um, external that you pay to third party. So T, uh, TP partner um, cost, obviously, because TP, they will, you know, do provide you with a lot of services. So obviously you will need to, um, you know, discuss with them and work under certain uh, commercial trade terms. Um, and lastly, there's logistic cost. So um, the logistic cost will vary depending on the logistic method that you choose to operate your store with. And so these are the five uh, fixed costs towards launching a flagship store. And on top of that, there are also two, um, you know, cost need, that, need, needs to, uh, that you need to bear in mind, which are branding and marketing investment. So this, there's no fixed uh, amount for the, for, for the investment. Uh, you will be um, you know, working with your TP to decide, okay, how much investment that you want to put into your store and your brand. Um, and we also are here to provide you with guidance based on you know, um, case by case um, you know, situation. Um, in terms of how much you should put in for your store. And there's also cross-border tax. So different from, uh, you know, the general trading, cross-border only have, you know, it only has one tax. So that's called cross-border tax. And it's 9.1% of transaction value for most of the categories. 
uh, with the exceptions um, of wine, uh, for example, wine, which is 17.9%, and also um, exception with exceptions of products that are over uh, retail values of 5,000 RMB dollars. Um, so there are some exceptions, but for most of the products, um, you know, cons in consumer uh, goods category, it's mostly 9.1%. And it, it's also an expense that you can decide to uh, put on customer. You can, as a store owner and um, our merchants, you can also have your customer pay for the cross-border tax and shipping. So um, in common practice, most of the merchants, they will co only cover um, the tax and shipping during certain uh, promotion campaign as a, uh, as a promotion offer to customers. So it won't be every day of the year that you, know, uh, that you need to cover uh, this tax uh, most likely. And next, I want to talk about the um, different logistic methods that are available for you um, to um, for you to run your store with. So the first um, is the bundle warehouse method. So this is basically, um, you know, for you to ship pre-ship your product into China into the bonded warehouse and the free trade zone in China. Um, and because you already have your product in China, this will allow you the fastest delivery uh, to your customers, hence, um, you know, the best customer experience. So, uh, you know, very high percentage of our merchants utilize bonded warehouse, um, you know, for their store. And the second method is global fulfillment center. So this is a very similar um, structure to bonded warehouse. Uh, you pre-ship your product into the warehouse. However, um, the, the uh, GFC, the fulfillment center sit outside of mainland China. So we have them um, you know, in North America, Europe, you know, in, in um, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, and you know, a, a lot of other uh, regions and countries outside of China. And number three, we have consolidated shipping centers. So this one is for um, dropship um, model. So it's basically, you know, for, for um, dropship merchants to sh send their packages um, to the uh, consolidated shipping centers for our Tanyao team then to help you uh, finish that last mile delivery of the package. And last one is direct mailing. So it's, it's a simple, a very straightforward model. You can utilize Tanyao or any third party logistic, um, you know, services to direct, directly mail your products from your manufacturer to the customer. So these are the four um, you know, body warehouse and you can utilize one or um, combinations of the models based on the logistic needs of your products. And the onboarding steps of launching a store include um, you know, um, basically assessments and preparation, store up, uh, store application and store developments. Um, each of the step, there are different, um, you know, action needs to be taken. Um, but for you as a merchant and or retailer, um, you know, the, the most important step is step one, which is to, um, you know, speak with a team of global um, experts, which is me here in Canada. And um, for us to first help you to find a suitable t uh, trade partner, um, that's being certified by our platform. So you can rest assured that, you know, they have, you know, uh, proven reputations and uh, records that they are legitimate and capable uh, partners to work with. And once you have a partner, you can work um, alongside with your partner to develop store sales and marketing operations plan. And after that, your TP will basically run through the rest of the process for you um, until the store goes into operation um, and after that, they will also help you to, you know, continue to run um, the store and optimize the store with you based on the store performance. So even though, you know, there seems to be a lot of steps, uh, what we need to do is really just take that first step and find the right partner and rest of the process will fall into places. And before you, your a store can go live, usually the first three, uh, you know, those three steps would take um, up to um, four to six three to six months, I would say, uh, depend, uh, depending on how long it takes for you to find a partner. And usually once you have a partner, rest of the process should be, um, you know, uh, quite, um, should be quite fast. So um, this um, is, wraps up the um, introduction to the TMG uh, model. And next I want to talk about um, the team overseas fulfillment, the TOF model. So as I mentioned, uh, the TOF model is basically our supplier model. It's a really big store um, that we, Timo Global runs on our own and invites you to become a, a suppliers. And um, you as a supplier of um, TOF, what you need to do is only is just to you know, have your account set up with us 
and um, you know, go through the contract process, quotation process, and then ship your products into one of our um, you know, local warehouses in North America. Or if you are API merchants, we just need to make sure that we are back end, um, we would work on the back end synchronization and also um, you know, get the logistic ready for drop ship. And after that, um, you know, our TOF team will take care of the, the merchandising sales and also the last mile delivery, um, including um, you know, the expenses tax, uh, cross-border tax and uh, logistic as well. And um, the cost uh, towards um, becoming a supplier on TOF uh, includes basic cost of wholesale, wholesale cost. So um, we will need to discuss, um, you know, provide us with quotations of your products. We need to discuss on a, a percentage of, uh, of margins that are, you know, that's comfortable, uh, you know, for both parties. And um, as other costs will also include uh, for warehouse merchants storage fee um, that will be, um, you know, start, um, we will start to charge from the third month. Um, and um, also there will be around um, $50 US dollars monthly service fee, but only from the second year. So for the first year of, um, you know, becoming a, a, a new suppliers, we will waive this service fee, but from the second year, there is a, a around $49.99 US um, service uh, dollar service fee per month. And for API merchants, the ser and, uh, monthly service fee will be 299 and, uh, nine, uh, per month. And again, this is also, uh, only the fee from second year. And also uh, for API merchants, uh, because of the scale of the products, um, the volume of product will likely be uh, in much bigger than uh, regular warehouse merchants. We will also require a security deposit of 10K US dollars. And other costs, um, you know, to to other third parties um, will include local logistic. So that means you will need to ship your products from your warehouse to the U.S. warehouse or the Canadian uh, warehouse in Canada in the future, and also product page content creation. So you as the merchants, uh, because only you have all the material for your products and brands, you will need to, um, you know, make sure you provide us with the, you know, the the page content uh, material. And if you don't have such capacity to, you know, to do a Chinese but uh, to provide to create Chinese material, we do provide pay service. It's about uh, 20 US dollars or less per, uh, per page. And also there is a promotion and marketing investment. So if you are not selling branded products, if your product is totally new to China, um, you know, you, you will likely need to invest in marketing to make sure your product will be seen and will uh, be um, you know, you will have drive a healthy amount of traffic um, to your product pages. So it's also optional cost, but highly suggested that you, you know, put in a promotion and marketing investment into TOF as well. And in terms of settlement options, uh, we do weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. Um, so it's very flexible. You can choose, um, you know, the, the options that you wish to, um, to, to use. And again, um, you know, for merchants selling non-branded products, um, it's it's uh, important that you um, utilize, uh, invest in uh, marketing for your products, even though it's not a store, it's just, you know, for, it's for you to become a supplier of our, um, it's very, still very important if your brand's completely new to China. And you might be wondering like, uh, but I have no idea how, how it works, you know, how marketing works in China, how do I do it, right? So no worries, uh, for, from TOF, we will provide you with information about free, and pay marketing resources for you to make your choice on uh, whether you want to uh, put in uh, the investment and how much. And lastly, the onboarding roadmap for uh, the overseas fulfillment model. So first we need to go through the account creation, which will include uh, product quotation. You know, we, we discuss, discuss on the margin and uh, we will go through the contract agreement process and um, after that, we will, um, you know, have you go through the registration process, um, under which you will be uh, required to submit, you know, the, the usual standard qualification documentation, such as business license, and you know, tax documents, and you know, and part of uh, brand trademark certificates. And after that, um, we will, um, once you have an account all set up and your product listing also applied in the system, we will go into order fulfillment. Um, we will issue you a consignment order for you to, um, you know, bring products to the warehouse based on the quantity discussed. Or if you are API merchants, um, you know, this process will, will involve, you know, back end synchronizations and uh, for our um, logistic to, um, you know, get ready for your dropship. And also we will uh, need to 
complete the product visual content uh, creation. So again, we do provide paid services if you don't have such capacity. And after that, the product will go into sales and operation. So this completes the onboarding roadmap for the TOF, um, the overseas fulfillment model. Okay, so this wraps up my sharing for the day. Um, I know it's a lot of information. Um, I try to squeeze everything in, um, you know, in uh, in this webinar. But if you want to review the information, uh, we will be sharing the, the presentation deck. And also you can uh, visit our merchant channel. It's merchant.timo.hk to find out, um, you know, more details about our platform. Or you can follow um, our uh, Timo Global account on LinkedIn. We share a lot of um, latest news about Chinese e-commerce market and our platform um, there. And here's my um, content information. So we'll be sharing the deck with you. So um, feel free to take that first step and start, um, you know, your um, you start to talk and uh, discuss with us about your brands and how we can uh, help you um, to, to launch into China through cross-border. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I think we can start with some of the questions we got in the live chat box. And thank you everyone like putting all the questions ahead of time before this webinar. I think Nicole and I addressed a lot of questions in our presentation. And now we're gonna go to the live questions. So the first question, and can Chinese company to sell to international markets in Timo Global too? Nicole, can you address that? Um, so no, the question, the answer is no. So Timo Global is 100% um, cross-border platform. So only entities outside of mainland China can launch with us. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, and then the next question and is, um, I think Jane asked, is, can is a Canadian trademark registration required for Timo Global? It takes a few years to register a trademark in Canada. Is that true? Yeah, so it is a prerequisite to have your home country uh, trademark to launch with us. However, we understand that in Canada, trademark is sometimes not a prerequisite for you know some of the local uh, retail channel. And once you start to understand you need to register for it, it will take years. So uh, we do have a process for you to launch with us under the trademark in progress status. So, um, so that means you need to supply us with proof that you are in the process of trademark registration. So you can, it can be a, a documents proving that, okay, you are in the registration. It's just, it's not coming out yet. Um, and once we have that proof and also have you signed a, a letter of um, you know, guarantee that you will, you will be uh, you will be taking the responsibility for your uh, trademark registration, and um, and also because you know there's certain risk to TMR registration merchants, so the the security deposit uh, will be doubled from um, 10k Canadian dollars to about 20k Canadian dollars for uh, trademark registration brands. So that's um, the 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 extra actions that uh, brand merchants will need to take if you don't have. The Canadian trademark already. Okay, and we have another question coming from Patrick. Patrick asks, is there a significant awareness of interest in Chinese or other East Asian, Southeast Asian markets for North American indig indigenous products and services? Um, I think it's not, um, of course, indigenous products or not, in general, um, you know, like I shared in our um, last double eleven um, shopping festival data, total imports from Canada continue to grow high double digit every year. And people, the customers, customers, if you, if you look at their shopping behavior, they actually don't really shop by country or by region. They don't purposely go onto our platform and search for Canadian products or, you know, indigenous products. They don't do that, but you know, they naturally, they search by their needs. But once they see some things from Canada, they tend to have higher trust you know, for, for the products. So that's a really good thing. You know, some of the hashtag that we found that people associate with Canada include premium quality, uh, trustworthy, you know, and also of course, you know, beautiful scenery and also cold weather and things like that. So, I mean, you know, Canada has a very good position um, in China, you know, cause we, we provide a very good positive image, um, you know, of our products to the Chinese customer in general. Okay, thank you, Nicole. And I think Rob asked, can I get more info on the North American fulfillment model? I think Nicole getting to the detail at the end, like in the later part of the presentation, so we'll skip that. If you have more questions, please email Nicole at her email or through DingTalk. And then I think Ashif asked, how do you help in finding clients to sell on your platform? 
Um, so how do we find merchants to sell? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, including this webinar that we are hosting right now, you know, we are trying to reach out to as many Canadian brands as much as possible. Um, you know, we understand that, you know, merchants, brands and brand partners in Canada, they might not be very familiar with Alibaba or Tmall, but, um, you know, we are the biggest uh, e-commerce platform in China, it's, you know, if you, it's like, just like Amazon in North America. So naturally we, we do, we get a lot of requests um, naturally, um, you know, uh, from, from around the world. But in Canada, I understand, you know, cause things are it, so far has been a bit slow. So right now we are trying to do a lot of events, trying to provide you with information, um, you know, for you to understand who we are and, you know, how we can help you to sound China. And I think we have a last question from Action. How about professional services like software? Oh, so yeah. So in terms of services provided by us, um, so as I mentioned in the presentation, you probably can see that you know we provide pretty much everything you will need um, to come on board with us to sell in China. So we have um, us, the Team of Global team, uh, providing all the necessary you know infrastructure you know, for you to launch a store with. We also help you to find a proper trade partner to work with. And we also have Alipay taking care of all the financial parts of the, 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 the project, uh, acting as the financial center for our um, merchants. And we have Tiny Logistics, you know, help, helping you and your uh, TP to set up all the necessary, um, you know, logistic, um, you know, network that you would need to, to sell into China through cross-border as well. So yes, we do provide all kinds of services involved for you to sell into China. Okay, thank you, Nicole. I think that concludes our Q&A. We addressed all the questions in the chat box. I'll pass it to you, Ella. Perfect. Well, thank you, Nicole and Chan Chan for taking the time today. There's obviously a lot of really important and really helpful information in there. And just on behalf of the Canadian Chamber, I just want to thank both of you for taking the time and to the Alibaba Group for your generous support of today's webinar. Thank you so much to everyone for joining us here today. And with that, we will sign off.